Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, and let's get ready to gamble! I have no idea if that's copywritten or not. I imagine it's not. Nobody talks about let's get ready to gamble. But welcome to this new mini show inside of the educated fan called Bad Beats with Brandon. That's right. Our favorite segment, my favorite segment, probably not your favorite segment, is now a full-on show. Uh, I'm really glad to be doing all these bets, providing uh, you know my insight and my picks to you guys. I'm going to try to do three to four, maybe in maybe five to six episodes a week, five to ten minutes, uh, depending on you know the sports going on. Uh, if I wake up in the morning. I mean, it just could be any wide array of uh, what's going on during the week. So keep an eye out for possibly daily content uh, in regards to some gambling, some sports betting, some picks. Uh, I bring you these picks as my own opinion. I'm not an expert. I would not uh, ever tell you to gamble your money based on what I'm saying. But tonight we have UFC 264. The rematch, the finale in the trilogy between Dustin, the Diamond Poirier, and the notorious Conor McGregor. I'm a big fan of both of these guys. This is going to be tough to do. Uh, This is going to be tough to do. But first, I do have a lot of fights I'm a big fan of tonight. I'm literally, I'm sitting here watching pre-shows like it's the Super Bowl. I'm as excited for this fight card as I am the Super Bowl people, and I am not joking. Okay, UFC 264, even on the undercard, we got some bangers. We got Brad Tavares minus 162 versus Omari Akhmedov at plus 130. Brad Tavares on one of the earlier uh, The Ultimate Fighter shows uh, seasons, I should say, that I remember um, watching. It's one of the earlier ones I remember watching. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing him fight again. It's been a while since I've seen him fight. I am going to choose Brad Tavares um, at minus 162 over Omari. It's a, it's more than anything, just kind of an experience thing. Uh, Jessica I versus Jen- Jennifer Maya. Uh, Jennifer Maya minus 200. Jessica I plus 162. I'm going with Maya at minus 200. Carlos Condit. A classic, a brawler, a banger. Dude goes. Love him. Um, he's at plus 150 against Max Griffin. I, here's your first upset of the day. Carlos Condon at plus 150. Then we got uh, Sean o- Sugar, Sean O'Malley against Chris, Chris Mutino. Okay. Sean O'Malley is at like minus 1,000. Chris Mutino plus like 600. So obviously, uh, the UFC, they had to fill in a fight. Uh, O'Malley's opponent did drop out. They gave him a hopefully an easy one. It's this guy's first fight in the UFC. He's like seven and four. This is an obvious O'Malley fight. So I actually am going to go round one uh, KO, TKO, or DQ for O'Malley at plus 115. Plus 115 for that. So you can make a little money. Next up, Greg Hardy, Ty Tuivasa. Greg Hardy, not a good guy. Uh, not in the NFL anymore because he's not a good guy. Uh, but ever since he made his move over to the UFC, minus a little accident, uh, accidental head knee to the head of a grounded opponent um, in his first fight, he's been pretty good. Gas is out real easy. He's at plus 105. Uh, ties at minus 130. I'm picking Greg Hardy because I just like watching the guy fight. He's a piece of shit, um, but I, I thoroughly enjoy watching him, uh, him fight. Uh, Gilbert Burns. Welterweight, uh, plus 130. Stephen Thompson, minus 162. This fight is really interesting. I'm looking forward to this one. I've never actually watched, maybe once, Gilbert Burns fight live, but I've watched his stuff. Stephen Thompson I've watched for a long time. He's a karate expert. Uh, Gilbert Burns may be the best in the game on the ground. Uh, if he can get it down to the ground, Stephen Thompson's in trouble, but I think Stephen Thompson's so fun to watch on the feed. I'm cheering for him and picking him at minus 162. Uh yeah, and then we have doo, 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 main event. Dustin the Diamond Boy, Connor the Notorious, the Notorious Connor McGregor. My apologies, 
Dustin's at minus 139, Conor McGregor plus 110. People may wonder, but why is Conor McGregor not the favorite? Well, first time Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier fought a long time ago. Conor's first test in the octagon, really. Um, Dustin got knocked the fuck out, plain and simple. Um, since then, uh, Dustin Poirier has gone on an absolute run uh, since the tar- start of 2007. Um Seven and one since the start of 2007 with wins against guys like Jim Miller, a no contest versus Eddie Alvarez, which he ended up redeeming uh, in getting a knockout against Eddie Alvarez. Knocked out Anthony Pettis, uh, first UFC fighter ever featured on a Wheaties box. Uh, J- Justin Gaethje, who is right now everybody thinks thought was the best in the division until he lost to Khabib. Uh, Max Holloway came up to fight for an interim title uh, from the featherweight division. He was looked at as is the clear favorite there. Max Holloway loses that unanimous decision. Uh, beat Dan Hooker, Dustin Poirier, and most recently, six months ago, not Conor McGregor. The fuck out. Started off with a bunch of leg kicks, takedown attempts, uh, pretty much took Conor's ability to be elusive uh, off the table. Um, let's just call it that. Um, his only loss in the last four years now is to Khabib Nurmagomedov. No one's beaten him, Conor McGregor included. Conor McGregor, since 2017, one and three, including a fight against Floyd Mayweather, a boxing match. Uh, his only win against, now I would never say this, but his only win other people are saying uh, was against an old Donald Cowboy Cerrone uh, in a freak matchup that he finished in the first round. But, I mean, Connor has not fought the best. Connor seems to have a new attitude going into this fight, back to the old style, not hanging out with his family, blah, 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 blah. Listen, Dustin Poirier, aside from the champion, Charles Oliveira is the guy to beat right now in the lightweight division. Uh, and I truly believe that uh, he's going to win this fight tonight. I, I don't know when. I think I know how, um, but I'm taking Dustin Poirier uh, at minus 139 um, as well as possibly. Du- so Dustin's at like plus 650 for a submission, which, by the way, he can probably get if he knocks Connor down, wrestles him, whatever he wants to do. I just see him wanting, because of Connor's shit talk lately, um, wanting to knock him out. That's going to be at plus 175. I'm going to go ahead and take Dustin at plus 175. Um, that's not included in my parlay, but all those other picks combined come to a plus 7,361. $10 bet's going to win you $746. I want you to know this show is called Bad Beats with Brandon for a reason. So, like I said before, gamble with caution, but that's my quick burst. Bad Beats with Brandon as its own episode. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, and until next time, probably Monday or Tuesday. See you Monday or Tuesday. Oh, you know what? Italy versus England tomorrow. Italy plus 210, uh, plus 160 for England. Fuck it. Bet on England for the Euro 2020. Um, but we'll see you guys next time.